The boat I'm building is Chesapeake Light Crafts Keeler Skiff. It's a 15 foot skiff and it comes on a pallet of nine sheets of CNC cut Okumi marine plywood. It's fairly easy to put together. So far I have the six pieces that form the bottom. Uh, these two pieces here with a puzzle joint join uh, are one side and then the other side is back behind me. This needs to be sanded on both sides and the method of construction is stitching glue uh, down the length of uh, the side of the boat here on the bottom. There are holes about every six inches and then there's holes on the side every six inches and a wire goes through that to stitch together uh, the bottom and the side and they'll be stitched also to frames. Uh, I have three frames over here just on a picture and those will get stood up and the sides will get uh, lean onto those. So it's a fairly easy method of construction. I've built two sailboats before just from plans and buying lumber from Menards. So this is uh, going together faster uh, and uh, it's fun to do for my pandemic project here in October of 2020. The next steps are going to be to sand the sides. Then I need to cut a whole bunch of wire so that I can stitch the sides to the bottom. have to get help from my neighbor, I think, to help me put it on. I um, have to wire the stations in first before I stand the sides up. And then the transom will go on. I've glued the transom together. It's two pieces of three quarter inch marine plywood making a total of an uh, inch and a half thick. And that should go on fairly easy with the sides. Um, nothing in this uh, boat building process is overly difficult and I think if you take your time it's fairly easy. Uh, obviously the most time consuming thing is sanding and if you look at Moss on Sail Life who's uh, rebuilding his uh, sailboat uh, he talks about oh glorious sanding and there's there's plenty of sanding to do so that's the next steps. So these joints don't come out perfect, but they're going to be filled with a filler and then the exterior is going to be covered with fiberglass across the entire exterior of the boat and then that weave will be filled in with epoxy. So you won't even notice that this finger joint here is not perfect uh, once the boat gets totally finished.